All this meeting, all I came physical court to order uh, on the 8th day of March 2022 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Bow your heads, please. Dear Lord, first of all, most we just love you and thank you for all the blessings you've given us. Dear Lord, we just ask you to uh, be with our community and our county. We just, uh, we're thankful that the uh, COVID numbers have dropped. People are starting to get healthy. We just pray to continue to be with them. Dear Lord, uh, today also we lift up our world leaders, dear Lord, in the world. We pray with Ukraine that uh, uh, something positive will come out of that, dear Lord, and uh, the ceasefire will happen. Dear Lord, we just ask you to continue to be with our leaders making those decisions. Dear Lord, we ask that you be with us here tonight as we represent the county and that uh, everything we do will be good for the county and it will be uh, pleasing to you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we always ask for your wisdom and your guidance in these meetings. Again, just thank you for the blessings you've given us and just thank you for Ohio County. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, I'm sorry. Sam is... Uh, uh, we should be thinking about Sam. He is uh, having to stay off from of work and meetings and everything until Monday when they do a heart cath on him. So he's, he's afraid he's got some heart issues and we've got to find out what they are. Uh, yeah, the minutes of the uh, February 22nd meeting. So Motion for Larry Cam, second for Joe Barnes. Uh, is there any uh, discussion? Uh, corrections or additions? Any discussion, Any corrections, corrections or additions? Being done, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a late list and a late, late list. Just has one thing on it. Uh, Amy, do you have that? Uh, oh, you got some of uh -huh. Do you have yeah. a thing oh. on the uh, oh, here it is. Uh, bricks at okay. the museum? Right. I didn't bring my copy. I thought they were going to do that as a separate motion. Okay. So moved. Yes. Motion on the bill, payments, and transfers. Second. 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 Motion on the bill, payments, and transfers. Second by, uh, by Larry Count, second by uh, Jason Bullock. Uh, Two seconds. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I got it. Is there any uh, any further discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Big none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Next, along with the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, I brought this up separately. Uh, there was a. Uh, a long going process of uh, people uh, buying bricks for the uh, museum, for the walkway, and the folks that uh, wanted those done over the years after they paid for their brick deposit, which is like $16,000 being up to finish the project, but all those folks that bought those bricks in, uh, in good faith wants to see that done. and. Uh, I would love to pay the sixteen thousand deficit from the uh, uh, from. Uh, did we say reserves, uh, Ann, or uh -huh. from reserves? Where is that? Uh, that's just so it, it's it's here. It's much stuff anyway. Sixteen thousand. No, what what happened? What transpired? They did prior to. I had a plan, and for whatever reason, when they sold the bricks, they didn't charge enough for them. No, so it didn't pay for the walkway, or maybe it was never intended to pay for it. But the folks just bought them and going to have their name on them, they're wanting them done. And uh, uh, I've, I've had a lot of heat over it. Larry Morphew would have, but I took it off of it. Well, let me ask you a question on that. I, I mean, 
So what about the, um, I don't know if it's the ARPA money, but what's the money, the pot of money before that we gave them some? Can they not use that to? We didn't give it to them for the, we didn't give them to the Tourism Commission. That's who's doing this. Okay, so that was the bluegrass. That was the bluegrass people. Okay. Where the bricks come from? I'm sorry. What the bricks come from? Uh, it's, a, it's a walkway that will go to where uh, the Bill Monroe statue will be. Yeah. And the base for it and everything. And a, and a, and a brick walkway from the museum to it. And, it? and the Tourism Commission began about five or six years ago selling the bricks. And the bricks are stacked up inside the museum. They're not laying on the wall. They have to have a concrete pad under it and all that. Bricks with a name on them, John. Yeah. Yeah. But was it, was it uh, overinflated on the bid or what? what? No. Um, I mean, there's so many bricks. What, it was in the plan. Yeah. <coughs> well, yeah, plan. Any like inflated, bought the brick, but didn't, any didn't, inflated, inflated cost to didn't have the uh, foundation included well, in that price. Well, and, well, the bricks never was could have sold enough to done it. But anyhow, I would sure love to do it. Keep these people happy that's done this and invested in good faith. And then it didn't happen. Larry, since it's your district, would you make that motion? Well, I'll make that motion. motion by Larry Morphew. So, real quick. So, if that, either one of them went bad, well, okay. it won't work. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, Nick has asked me for a while, and we finally worked out agreement on to how to do it uh, that we want to. Uh, uh, like Jason Burton, assistant supervisor, working supervisor assistant, and that means he will get a he will go from uh, sixteen ninety an hour to seventeen ninety an hour, effective three six twenty two. Do you need a motion or just uh, a roll call? Okay. Count. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Uh, the next one, as you know, was here. Um, uh, Jimmy Cantrell was here last time and we talked about his assistant. Um, well, we agreed, uh, I think agreed on it, but he has one here for me to go ahead and bring up. Uh, it's Lakin Smith, L-A-K-I-N Smith. It's Clark. Level Clark, one. Yes. Yeah, Clark, Clark level five. one. Full time, 12.90 an hour, effective 3.622. Uh, Roca. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? And this one's going to be effective just for the four year period that he's hired, just in case that, and then we'll review it from then. Yes. Okay. Coming yes. out of the ARPA funds. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. I would like, if you want to relay, Judge, that his wife had surgery today. Yes, I was fixing to bring that up. Yeah. And a uh, very bad uh, thing she had, but the surgery came out as good as could possibly be. And got as good a, re a, good a report as could have gotten under circumstances. Who's that? Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy uh, Cantrell wife. She had I just a very got a text surgery. from her, so she's up and in pain, but she's done good. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Justin had brought us his clerk, Crystal Stewart, wants to raise her from level two to level three, which would make her from thirteen forty nine to fourteen dollars an hour, fifty one cent increase, uh, effective uh, three six. So Rocco. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Now we're going out to her to her animal shelter. Uh, not really. Not, I mean, not going physically, but we're, that's where we're going for the rest of these. Uh, Jennifer Darty, as you know, brought in, made it full time, but she was on a, a trial basis more to see if she wanted than to see if we wanted her. But anyhow, we worked out and uh, we uh, do. We're going to start her at, at, at the at salary. It's 700 a week. That's 100 less than our. Uh, and pro officer makes, but she's got a period of time to get her certificate training and also to go to a time period, six month time period as well. So there's two things she has to do to get to the 800. 
but uh, uh, Jennifer Doherty, Animal Control uh, Salary. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. And that's on the wage scales, that's the level one. So. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. I don't have a one from the animal shelter. I thought I had two. You should have two. You do. It's right there. You're holding it up in the air. That's one. Should be another darty. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got it. That's two. But I mean, attendant, I just got one. You, uh, you only have one. I don't okay. have any okay. if there's only okay. one. Okay, good deal. Okay, let's do that one. Uh, Roy Darty, as an attendant. Uh, We'll, we'll be working about 10 hours a week, part-time, at 10, 23 an hour, uh, level one, Bokoff. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. <coughs> Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Jones? Yes. Next, at the, uh, at Oceda, Christina Carpenter, o Oceda Administrative Assistant, full-time, uh, we're going to uh, uh, put her to level three, and uh, she'll go from 1510 to 1616 per hour, effective 3622. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. Tell you what, we had, that's the most we've ever had. At a maybe as far as uh, personnel thing. Okay, resolution 2022-24, Ecanergy Fiber. Uh, this is basically just a uh, thing that we say that we're for it. We don't have any money in the game. We don't have any uh, uh, thing to do with other than say, hey, we're for it. We know that we had problems with the internet in the county, and I guess we're going to support anybody that might can help us. And Kennedy's put their name in the hi hat that they might can. So there are some some folks trying to keep them out of the game to for you know to protect others that's providing the services. But our my theory is being, and I know I've talked to some of you guys too about it. Uh, uh, anybody we get in the game, they'll help us provide service we're for. Well, we actually, Foster brought it up last board, and I forgot to bring it up, but out there at Vita, they're having a whole lot of trouble with our internet provider right now um, having any kind of service. You know, the, and, uh, this would actually get, if this were to materialize, it would get them. So, so we have the Kentucky Wire project that's coming in. Yes. We had that lateral line that's coming right down to the middle. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to that that's coming right down to the middle? Oh, it's hanging in the, on the poles, and it's really nice out there. It's not that's hooked up on either end. end. So, but from my understanding, that gets the broadband right here, and then you have to have people like Kennedy or stuff to take it from that point right, on. Right, and they won't yeah. because it's more expensive for them to tie into Kentucky Wire than it is for them to put in their own stuff. Okay. Someday, someday it will be beneficial, but right now it means the state of Kentucky spent 16 billion. Yeah, 3,000 miles of lines. So. And uh, in the state. In, uh, and it's useless. To my knowledge, no one. Well, so far. It's, right. it's there. The, the hardware is there for it, so maybe someday it will, but we can't promise anything from that. So well, is this, this is just going to put Kennedy in the game where they can provide service to people. What, what are other counties, because we talk about this all the time, what are other counties doing, rural counties like ours, that would even, I mean, because counties don't publicly finance. Similar, similar thing. So yeah. what, what other counties are doing is, well, with the ARPA funds, of mm -hmm. course, some of the counties have partnered with companies like AT&T and Spectrum to uh, spread fiber to areas that they weren't planning on doing before. <coughs> the problem is, and, and I understand the, the judge's dilemma on that, um, and probably some of y'all's, is that we've spent money like that before. Oh, yeah. And we've partnered That's with Connect Grad, with Q Wireless, with, you know, uh, other companies, other ISPs, and then we don't get service that is at speeds we need for the prices that we need to serve our communities. So then we're left with the infrastructure, or the infrastructure sits there, but it's not really serving the purpose that we need it to serve. 
if we could figure out a way to do our own municipal internet service fiber service that would be the best use of our funds because then we would know once it's in there then we're going to serve who needs to be served but well, that's really complicated the rural it's really expensive do that. That, that, some they do tried it with not much success see that's the same thing we've all done in investing in, in some have had success but wireless. that's ours but that there's been idea. legal questions because uh, they've come back and been sued and then there's legal questions as to who has the rights to the infrastructure and then uh, you know it's just not it's not worked yeah. out well but right now we're, we're just saying Kennedy if you can do something for us we're right. happy with it. Well, I thought AT&T was, was even as much as two years ago I was hearing that they were they were bringing air wireless or yeah there. and they were and they did and uh warren rule has partnered with at&t to do that they put up uh, more towers in the county they've spread more fiber along their uh their lines and stuff like that um but i guess it's just a more warren rural area for the most part and i don't think that project is completely finished it may have been stagnated by covid i don't really i haven't heard anything since i knew it began well, this is similar to what Kennedy's wanting to do. So and, and I'm not with Kennedy. I'm just trying to, because everybody says, why aren't you bringing in it? You know, it's like, well, what are other rural counties doing? Because that is a huge project and money-wise, and yeah. you have the state some pumping them, all this money in. Some of them have spent money that not, no one's satisfied with what their results. Well, the Kentucky Wire, what's the what's the problem? It costs too much to hook to mm -hmm. the They spent all so, that money. Yeah, so they spent all that money, and then uh, whenever the administration changed, the, the new administration said, we're going to allow the free market basically to set the price. We're going to turn it over um, once the infrastructure's in, and the market will set the price. And just like any of these other projects like Davis County is doing, they're using their ARPA funds, partnering with uh, some of the existing ISPs to put in new um, infrastructure. And basically what's happening is they don't reduce the cost just because you're paying for part of the infrastructure. So they're still charging what they would if there was only two people within a three mile mm -hmm. area and they're the ones getting internet. So they don't reduce the cost, meaning it's unaffordable and then if you can't afford it then it's going to be at speeds that, that are not really useful or you know lower speeds than what we would like to see okay for the money. well let's just let's just send it on up there to them and say Jason, go you on the court when we contributed two hundred fifty thousand. well you remember we voted no the first time yeah. and then the state legislators come we had the senator and the house or we or was on court and they promised us a bridge we got a bridge out then then we voted yes hasn't that been about 15 years ago that's been 15 years about ago 15 years yeah. ago and what was, the, what was what was the their term their name that was connect. That, that was connect grad. Connect grad. Yeah. Which we're still in. I thought that was it. But I wouldn't yeah. They they contract with different companies to provide it. Like well, and then several counties put into that. And, and then seven, eight now. Because we another one bought it. Quarter like million they said, dollars. Yeah, but we were lied to. They they mm -hmm. said that that particular uh, type of equipment would uh, stretch out ten miles. Never put up so many towers or whatever. And I think the best they ever got out of it. Was well, it, after a mile and a half. Had, uh, some of the other bunch that we, we kind of see that they're good with a lot. Yeah. We'll do everything we know to do it. And, and there's some other things in work with ATT. Well, that's not going to no problem. Somebody else involved. involved. Okay, let's go ahead and make a motion. Then every one of you will have to sign it. And it's just a, it's just a saying uh, where we support you and whatever you can do for us. Yeah. Motion Blair Camp. I'll second it. Second by J.D. Bullock. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. She'll pass it down for you to sign. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next deal. Uh, Larry, can I, can I give this the background and then you can explain a little more? Sure. Uh, several years ago, before I came into office, but not long before, we had a road that crossed Baystown Road called Cave Ridge. Uh, it went uh, both directions. I'm getting my north-south mixed up. Can you help me there? Uh, which direction off the base down it was? Uh, really, it was. It went across, but base down road went east to west. Okay, so it, it would be north. It went uh, uh, the north side of it, which just quit maintaining it for whatever reason. Somebody at the, at the time. Uh, a, 
think someone told the the uh, magistrate told the uh, our main men the judge at that time told the road department to quit maintaining it, and they did. And the next time new made, maps were made, it was left off the map. It's a little section about three quarters of a mile, isn't it, Larry? About three quarters of a mile of Cave Ridge Road. And be honest with you about it, oh, I think we'd have to go put the sign up. But in the means of transparency, Larry and I decided to bring it to court and uh, just say that we're going to start maintaining it again. But it's our road. And there's no reason we shouldn't. No yeah. legal documents ever so closed. Never shown where it's closed. Nothing, 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 nothing. No documentation has been took off. Or discontinued maintenance. There's or been six people, two of them's former people of election, but what was elected have said that they remembered and they don't know why it was took off. But once it once it's on there, then there has to be some formal action by the court in some way to take it to, to close. close it. Right. And from my understanding, uh, through research, there hasn't been anything. I, I did research, I think, maybe yeah. Moran checked or something. And even, quite frankly, if it's on that map, where we get money from the state to maintain it. So, so I was asked to but get a map, but I got three maps. Yeah, it's, on, it's been on previous So maps. do we even need to act on it, other than just go and start marching no, on maintenance? Well, I know, but transparently, we thought that Larry make a motion. Well, it's a second. We'll go ahead. So send them in a step week. So now we'll everybody start. that's affected down by this road, everybody wants it to be back to maintain, right? And, yeah. and there's and from my understanding, I asked uh, Larry and some of them. I said, "Are you aware of any minutes? If we can look into the minutes, and I think there's not any minutes yeah. or anything, any action taken on this road." So well, like they said, if it's not been, then if they wanted that, come to the court and ask to have it closed because it's never like, been technically closed. Like I said, I was asked to get a map. Well, I went over in Jason Chen's office and found three. Mm -hmm. Well, it's on three maps I looked at, but I found three that was yeah. that it was on. It might have been left off when we redid the 911 years ago. Right. Yeah. But the mo his motion was to resume the maintenance and to uh, uh, get it included on the map. Second one. Second by Larry Town. You got it, Miranda? Yeah. We just probably need the old, what the distance, what, do you have any idea on the distance? It's not over three quarters of a mile. Yeah. We measured with our truck. Speed out just about three quarters of a mile. Okay. But it's a little longer if you go all the way to uh, the parkway, but I see no reason to. But we'll go to the last house. We'll just measure the short part of it. Yeah. You can just make a copy of that map, attach it to the minutes or something from random. I think Larry's got some extra. Okay. And, and the link there. Okay. We'll add that to it. It's actually on our road list. But does it have the three quarters of a mile on it? Or is it? Okay. Uh, on fair say, I told like to it's done. Uh, I'm going to skip this item number. He, uh, he texts me and said his brother's on his way. Oh, he, okay. Yeah. So we'll wait till he gets here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and run these uh, couple the board appointments and things while we're waiting for Keith to get here first go closed session. Uh, I'm going to appoint a regional jail board. And Miranda, they put this, make sure you got these names in the minutes. Regional Jail Board is Wayne Crow, Larry Cow, and Charlie Shields. Uh, I think uh, uh, I, I think that's important enough that I do want y'all to vote on it. But those are the names I put up. So. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Both like saying it's acknowledged in the manner to appoint that board. And here's another one. Uh, when appoint an economic development incentive committee, which may bring an in, something to the fiscal court for an incentive for a new business that's won't locate the county, but I need you ought to look over into it. Uh, Jody will help find the uh, what you can do, your options, and that sort of thing, as far as helping those folks to come in here and open their business. I'm on point Larry Camp, Joe Barnes, and Jody Ashby. So uh, that that is a committee. Uh, uh, I don't think it's one that we would need to vote on. It's a it's a uh, short living thing. In other words, you're going to do this for the business that she's talking to. And the jail board is forever. That's why I wanted it both now. But 
put it in there as pointed those. And uh, Jody, you get their information so you can call them and set up a meeting. Uh, Do we need to go ahead and just set up a meeting right before the uh, regular meeting next time? Well, that'd be soon enough. Why don't y'all meet at four? You have a water line committee meeting. At well, four. can you meet at 3 30? Can y'all be here at 3 30? Yeah. 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 Okay. What, oh, wait a second. Is it about just the next fiscal court meeting? Mm -hmm. We need to do it before then. Well, you can call them then. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, are you allowed an hour for the uh, rural water line extension? Yeah. It's at four. Yeah. Well, I mean, that might be plenty sufficient, but Jody has said that she needs something done prior to this, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, we're waiting for the, uh, for Keith. Uh, he, he's, 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 he's here. He's walked in. Okay. Uh, I'll, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to ask for a brief uh, closed session under KRS 61 810 chapter 1 sections A through M uh, and I want to uh, ask our guests to join us. Hey, since we're not going to do this, this pay, this pay, I think we're going to tell them that do we meet at 4 o'clock before the next meeting to discuss salaries. So yeah. they won't say, and I'll just tell you. And then do 3 30, 4 4 30. Okay. Okay, so what time do you want to do the salary? Now I'm going to talk to them. Okay. Uh, what time will you do? Four, four, yeah, and I'll tell them that one. We'll do the water line right immediately after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Motion. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put your motion in the yeah. I'll second. Okay. Motion. I'll make a motion. Second. Okay. I thought he was thinking about it. Okay. Go back in. Uh, yeah. Go back in. I made a motion, yeah. Go, go back, back in open session. session, and I will say in closed session, we did not transact any business. We uh, listened to some proposals that uh, affect uh, the things under the KRS 61810. No action was taken. So, uh, we have a motion to go back in session? Yeah, we, we already made it. We already did that. Okay, we'll go back in open session. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Committee reports. Do we have any committee reports? Uh, of course, you know from the jail, there's a big, the, we finally got our board appointed, and uh, Justin announced that uh, Butler County's uh, uh, and local government is, is passed. So, it's my understanding they sent it today. That's what yeah. the staff was telling me. So I think they. So they they're not too far to, away from appointing their board. They'll appoint their board too. I'll call and tell them we've done ours. They need to do theirs. Then we'll set up a <clears> meeting <throat> for them soon. Any other committee reports? Any other committee reports? Uh, of course, you know we've got three schedules for the next meeting. So uh, three committees will be here. 3.30, 4, 4.30 at the next uh, meeting. Um, I need to make an extension board appointment. Um, appoint Larry Clayton to the uh, extension board. On my desk, then. Roll call and ran. Oh, Cam. I want more than one. <coughs> yes. Mark you? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. We all know one. Yeah. Oh, everybody got one? Yep. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, did everybody sign? Yeah, everybody signed your papers, all right? Okay. Yeah. Um, we're ready for master's comments. And since Sam's not here tonight, Jason, you're first. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, we kind of talked about it already, but that the internet out there beat us. So how do we how do we go about? Who do we need to talk to and tell them that the the service that allows you out there? Because well, once we did this before, it turned out yeah. I think the, they had a, uh, I don't know, some, something down in their system that wasn't pushing the signal out. Right? It's been reported to them. I'll call again, but it might have more weight if we went ahead and uh, made a motion and it, that to, for me to write a letter saying that the entire fiscal court is unhappy with the service that we're getting from Watch Communications, which is 
is uh, doing the contract for uh, right. Connect Grad. So it was uh, QR. QR. So what happened to QR? QR? They went to status. We, we just uh, hand them and got somebody else. When their contract was in. Right. And uh, now then, but they hired the same guy back to run the area. They hired Phil Landry. Well, the same guy was with Connect Grad, but the same guy was with QR. Unless now he's with QR. Okay, so I'm in my, I'll make that motion. Okay, uh, Moran, don't re uh, remind me to uh, write the letter. Most with Joe Barnes for the judge to write a letter to Connect Grad to say that the court is unhappy with the service, especially on Vita Road at this time. I'll second his motion. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion? Being on all in favor, say aye. I mean, I can justify oh, that area. I don't know about everybody else's area, but I've heard well, that. We said especially that one, but we're unhappy with their service, especially there. And then the other thing, I, I should have said this in the committees, but the wage scale committee uh, did some adjustments to the uh, wage scale. So, got a copy if anybody needs to see it. So, we just need to, to make a uh, motion to pass the new wage scale. And it's just the one one adjustment. Yeah, yeah okay. just a, a change in all. I'll make a motion to second you. Okay. Second. Got a motion by <coughs> the book, second by. Joe Barnes to approve the adjustment made by the Wage Committee. Uh, any discussion? Being none, I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed, uh -huh. like sign. Motion carried. So, Miranda, don't let me forget to write that letter. Okay. Do you have that Yep. You have anything else, Joe? Sorry. No. There. There. No, I don't have anything. Justin, no, thank you. Anybody have anything for the good Just, of the uh, body? You said there was three committees meeting next? Yes. Uh, so the water line, the water line, you, you, you and Larry and Jody. Elected the salary. The, and then the I thought we had a meeting with her before then. Well, you do, but we're going to meet again. Well, you may or may not. We just love the time for the case you need. Let's see. We've got the water line. Yeah. We've got the wage, wage scale for the elected official. That's a four and yeah. four thirds of the water line. Yeah. And we might be done before then. Yeah, it yeah. won't take long to write. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I put this in somewhere. Okay. Uh, nobody else has anything for good in the body. Don't call the spend adjourned. Thank you, Larry.